So now HSBC is your new focus idea just published today. You're suggesting 40 billion plus in shareholder returns, which is a huge number considering it represents about 25% of their market cap. What's consensus missing here? Uh, yes, we believe that HSBC is capable of extending its 1H share buyback program into the second uh, part of the year, bringing the total to about $8 billion for 2023, which is double of what is baked in, in consensus right now. Uh, the profitability outlook for, for the HSBC is very solid, with two key results showing strong revenue momentum and tight cost control. The bank is well on track to deliver more than uh, 15% ROE in 2023 and in 2024, which together with CT1 ratio well above its target of more than 14% is underpinning its shareholders' return potential. So what we act, what we believe is that the consensus may be overly uh, pessimistic about the China economy risk and they bake in lower shareholders' uh, share buybacks for this year. Great, thanks. And, and Asia, um, that represents a lion's share of HSBC's profit. Of course, there's some concerns around the slowing economy, the exposure to real estate. How, how concerned should shareholders be? Yes, Chinese economy, of course, is slowing down. Uh, we see news on almost every, every, every day, on an everyday basis. Uh, however, you know, it has been already uh, discounted in the share price and valuation of HSBC. The biggest worry for HSBC is, of course, commercial real estate, uh, real estate in China, which is, uh, which is at around $14 billion uh, as the second quarter of this year. It is more than 15% less than at the end of 2022, and HSBC has been progressively and aggressively, I would say, targeting this portfolio. The coverage ratio is more than 60%, from less than 60% at the end of 2022, and we believe the bank is capable of boosting the coverage ratio further in the second half of the year. The bank was targeting uh, or guiding 1 billion risk uh, connected with the Chinese uh, commercial real estate portfolio for this year, they have utilized around 0, 0.3 billion in the second half of the in the first half of the year, and we believe the rest may be utilized in the second half of the year. However, it should not derail its cost of risk target of around 40 basis points uh, guided for 2023, with consensus right now banking in around 36, 37 uh, basis points. So there is definitely room and more buffer to boost provisioning from uh, on the consensus side as well. And finally, could you put HSBC's valuation into the context of the potential that you see? Yeah, so if you look at HSBC valuation at the moment, we look at profitability. So in 2023, 24, and even 25, the bank is set to deliver more than 20 billion in net profit, which is the highest level on record. Uh, similar levels of around 19 billion were recorded in 2007. The bank is still uh, trading at around six times price to earning ratio, which is a heavy discount to its historical valuation, but also is very discounted to European peers. The bank, of course, uh, as well as trading at uh, well below zero, uh, well below book, which is of course supporting its shareholders' return. And at the moment, with this valuation, we believe there is no risk, or there is little risk to the shareholders' return promised by the lender. Tomas, thanks very much for your insights. Much appreciated. We look forward to seeing how this progresses. 